Scotland, it would be interesting to start talking about a simple question. What is development? This is a center for international development. What should we understand by development? Is this a broadly shared view, or is this also one of the many things that economists tend to, be, to fight over? <laughs> I think this was a broadly shared view. I think what development meant had a very common core to it for a very long time. I think, though, that has very substantially fractured in the last 20 years. And let me say both what I mean, what I think the consensus was, and the way in which it fractured. One is development, I think, as a self-conscious way of thinking and way of doing, was born out of the birth of the nation states in the aftermath of World War II. India, a sprawling continent. It becomes an independent political sovereign. Indonesia, this sprawling chain of islands, becomes an independent political sovereign. And they say, we're now a nation state. What does it mean to be a more developed rather than less developed nation state? So I think the notion of development born out of the birth of new nation states makes it clear two things. One, as you've often complained, you often complain that it's the center for international development. It's like, it's not international to me in my country, it's my national development. So I think the first thing is, the core thing that was developing was the nation state. It, that had consequences for the people that lived there, but ultimately what was developing in the way that a tadpole becomes a frog without changing any of its underlying nature, it just becomes more froggy, was the nation state says, how do we become more nation statey? And I think there were four simultaneous transformations that were part of that. One was an economic transformation that the nation state and its resources became more productive, uh, acquired more capabilities to produce more things, um, acquired the productivity to sustain a prosperous economy. That was one transformation that was integral to this. The second was a political transformation. How does the nation state be represented through its citizens? They were throwing off the shackles of colonialism, and the image was now that we're no longer dominated by colonialists, how do the citizens control the state? The third was an administrative transformation. We're now a nation state, we have to have an army, we have to have a police force, we have to deliver the mail, we have to take on a variety of tasks. Since nation states take on these tasks, more developed nation states are ones that can do these tasks better. And then really a social transformation, moving towards more equality of treatment. Again, a fundamental pernicious feature of colonialism was that different people got treated with different legal status, whereas I think an integral part of development was eliminating that differential status. So I think that fourfold transformation was what we meant by national development. So economics, politics, institutions, and social re relations. I never use the word institutions, um, but yeah. I would say organizations. Capable state. Capable, capable organizations, yeah. right? That involve things, if I knew what an institution was, I'd use the <laughs> word more. But the, the, what's fractured, I think, though, in the last 20 years, is I think a lot of people have come con to confuse development work with mitigation of the lack of consequences of development work. Mm -hmm. If a nation state doesn't develop, there are all these terribly tragic human consequences. People die of diseases, kids don't get educated, there's violence of all types, including crime, violence against women. You can imagine that rather than work on the transformation process, I'll come in and I'll take programmatic interventions that address and mitigate the consequences of the lack of overall development. And that's always, you know, those are two legs in some sense of a development approach. But I worry that in essence, national development solves all problems. It just solves all problems. If you get prosperous, politically controlled by your citizens, high capability organizations, and socially equal, that's a recipe for solving all problems. Whereas the programmatic approach says, here's a problem that remains unsolved by the lack of development, let's solve it. And so it leads you into really specific interventions that aren't necessarily seen in the overall development transformation. And one can easily start to confuse the mitigation of the lack of development with you know, promoting the development process itself. And that's why some people think that giving chickens to others is a way to do development. <laughs> yeah, whereas it's a way to sort of say, it can't be the case that our vision of a developed society is just more chickens. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>